Hi, and welcome to today's edition of the Trade Ideas Chat Room Stock Roundup for January the 7th, 2014. Well, today was a day on the market which was, I thought, very good. Uh, a lot of times what happens is we get some pretty good setups, at least what looks like pretty good setups, and unfortunately there's no follow-through. You know, we get a good setup and then they just stall. But today was a day in which we had, I think anyway, a lot of follow throughs. And I'm going to run through some of the ones that we saw on the, uh, that we discussed today in the, in the chat room. The first one I'd like to take a look at is uh, NBIX. And you can see here that I actually got an alert for uh, NBIX at uh, 630, which is 930 uh, Pacific time. And what happened is I don't usually like to take a stock that early, a trade that early. I like to, I like to check to see uh, what's going to happen in the market. It, it could just be something that's going to go up and then com, uh, come down immediately. So I kind of like to let the market settle for just a little bit. And so what I did on this one actually is you can see here that the, the alert, I'll, I'll look at the 15 minute chart here. This is a two minute chart, a five minute chart. This is a daily chart and a, a sort of a weekly one month chart. And here is the 15 minute chart. And this is when the alert was, it was at uh, 1573. So it would be right around here. And I actually waited for it to, it, it, it poked above 16 and then it came back down. And then the second time it went up uh, over 16 is when I decided to take it. And I took it at, um, I guess the, the actual price was at 16.04, and I was able, I got rid of half of it right up, right up here, just just above 17, maybe a little early, but I I wanted to make sure I locked in some gains because sometimes these things can go, they can come down as as quickly as they go up, so I did lock in some gains there, half of it. And then I held it for quite a while and I ended up selling the second half at uh, 1789. So just about right, right, right about here. And so well, that was an excellent, I mean, trade. I mean, you, you know, you're in at 16, 1604, out half at 1707 and the other half at 1789. So that was a very, very good trade. But actually that wasn't the first trade that I did in the morning. The first trade I actually did was MGM. And MGM, I got the alert, you can see here, it was at 24.27. I took, so there was where the alert happened for me. And I got in at uh, actually about 24.30. I rode half of it up to uh, 20, uh, actually, no, I rode most of it up, half of it up to 25.53, right about there. It spiked up a little bit more, and then I sold the rest of it at 24.40. And, you know, again, another nice little trade. Uh, my stop was, was right around here. So, so the, the uh, sorry, the stop was right around here. So the risk reward wasn't tremendous, but it was actually the first trade I did in the morning. And so it got off to a good start. Now, the next trade I did was in CRL, which was really quite a nice trade because you can see right here, let's go back to the um, two minute chart all the way back here. And I was alerted to this on another, not, not this particular uh, setup, but on another setup. And you can see how, how nice this was. Right here at $55, it was basing, basing, basing. And it didn't have a lot of volume at that point, but I thought, okay, I'm going to watch this. Typically, I like to watch it uh, or watch a stock go through the whole number, but I decided to take this one right at 55. And I was able to ride uh, the first half. I got out at uh, right here at 55.40. So it took a while, but you see how nice it was. There were very few little, there were really hardly any pullbacks, even on the two minute chart. So it was a nice, what I call a nice stress-free trade. I took it right there. I, I got rid of 55 uh, or half of it at uh, 55.41 and then you can see how it kept going up and up and up and up. And I got rid of the next the next bit right here. It went up to this point, 55.86, and I got rid of the next part at 55.80. So half was at 55.41 and the other half at 55.80. Um, I had a very pretty tight stop on this because as you can see, going back to the two minute chart, you can see that 
you know, even if I put a stop in here at about 54.85 or 54.90, uh, that's only about a 10 cent stop. So that was a tremendous risk reward uh, that, that turned out well. And then I actually went in at the end of the day, I got out of it, and then at the end of the day, again, it hit 56, and when it popped through 56, I decided to take some more, and I got in at 56.03, and I was able to sell, I waited almost to the end of the day, and I was able to sell that at 56, uh, I believe a 56.46. Again, a nice tight stop, because, um, you know, I was another dime stop, so making uh, 40 odd cents on a dime, that's another four to one. Now, the other one I did was, now this was a little bit scary. This was EPZM. Now, EPZM, I got in at 35.10. And let me just back this up. So I got in at 35.10. It already had a huge run. I mean, this thing was, this is up $15 by the end of the day, but it already had a huge run. So it was a little bit scary. And actually, on this particular one, I had had what, what I call an, anticip an, an anticipatory entry at 35.10. So what happened, actually, is that back here, uh, I had noticed I put in the order probably down here. I said, okay, if it breaks 35, I'm going to get in. And that's what happened. And I got a, I got a partial, I got a little bit of a fill at, at 35.10. And then it went up, it came back down, and I, I, I think I sold half of it about right here. And then I let the rest of it ride. And it was quite a bit of a roller coaster, but I was able to get out of the balance at 37.14. So from 35.10 to 37.14, that was a tremendous win. A bit of a not stress-free. <laughs> I mean, you can tell that this thing was up and down, but it's to be expected of a stock that was up $15 for the day. So those are the uh, trades that I did today. Um, the trades, generally the trades were generated in, in my custom setup. And by a custom setup, I mean, th these are, this is something that I've been able to develop using the odds maker, the, the add-on tool to, with trade ideas. And basically, I, I, uh, they were, you can see there, I had a few other ones that I could have actually taken. I actually missed this one, PCYC. You can tell here I added at 7, uh, 7, 934 or 1034 Eastern, 734 Pacific. At uh, 121, if I go down here to the 15-minute uh, chart, you can see that this one, I, I just, I missed it because it was, it was quite, um, it was quite uh, spready uh, the, between the bid and the ask, and it just flew. And so unfortunately I did miss it, but this, this went, you know, this had a hundred and twenty, that was another $6 gain. And fortunately I did miss that one, but these are the cut type of setups that I've been able to get from this custom, my custom setup. Not every day, of course, because today I, I think was a, uh, was one of those days in which you just had a lot of good follow through. And you know, those are the days in which you really have to try to maximize the, the amount of money you're going to make. So I uh, would, I'd like to invite everybody to our chat room. Um, we're here every day. We usually start, uh, I'm usually in the room no later than 9 o'clock uh, uh, Eastern time. And I go right to 4 o'clock. Many days I'm in around 8.30. You know, that, that is 5.30 on the West Coast. So it all depends on um, on the situation. I try to run through the, the, the trades that uh, uh, might look good uh, in, based on what happened, what's happening in the pre-market. So we, we check a lot of the uh, stocks that have done well in the pre-market. We take a look at the earnings plays. Uh, one of the ones which I, unfortunately, again, there was just so much going on today. Uh, another one that I, that I actually missed was this particular stock, uh, K-E-Y-W. And it was one I alerted everybody in the chat room that I wanted to, uh, to take a look at it. And unfortunately, I just couldn't find a good enough entry. But this one just, uh, you know, this is the, if you come over here on, on the daily, this is now super extended. Uh, this is the third big day up. So we might anticipate something coming down tomorrow. But I looked at this one and I thought, okay, let's see if we get a third day. And, and sure enough, it did. I, I just couldn't find an entry that I felt comfortable with. But, you know, you can't get them all, and uh, that's really the trick about uh, using trade ideas also is that, you know, there are a lot of a lot of different strategies out there, and you have to try to uh, pick maybe three or four that work for you, and, and you're not going to get inundated with alerts all day long. Otherwise, you can, you can, you can end up doing nothing, and it, that can be very frustrating. 
So anyway, thank you very much for uh, listening to this, and we'll be back tomorrow with another edition of the Trade Ideas chat room recap.